everybody, my name is Pepita. It means little potato, because I'm a little potato. And today, I'm gonna be picking my mama's makeup. So let's just jump right into the video. Hey everyone, my name is Michaela Snow, and today we're going to be doing the Puppy Picks My Makeup Challenge. I'm so excited to be doing this video today because I love my new baby, Pepita. She is the sweetest little girl. And I was never able to do this with my firstborn, Bentley. So I'm really happy we get to be trying it out today. I'm also going to put a little twist on this challenge, so it'll actually be drugstore versus high-end makeup. So today we're going to be able to find out if she prefers a high-end makeup look or just a simple drugstore look. For moisturizer, we have the MAC Mineralize Lotion versus the Different Moisturizer. And the first one she went to was the MAC. I really believe it's so important to moisturize your skin before applying any makeup just to create a little barrier between your face and the makeup. For primer, we have the Number 7 Airbrush Away Primer versus the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. The first one she went to was the number 7 primer and she did knock it over so that's the one we're going to be using today. So this primer isn't one of my favorites but I guess we're going to have to use it anyways and see how it all works out. For foundation we have the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation versus the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage Foundation. And she straight away went to the Pure Foundation and I love this one so I'm so happy she did because it's an amazing foundation. I really love this foundation because you literally only need two pumps and it just spreads out so beautifully. I'm also using my Amazon beauty sponge. I'll link this down below. I love these. They come in a pack of five for like eight dollars. Such a great deal. Don't tell anyone, but in my opinion, they work better than the beauty blender. For concealer, we have the Tarte Shape Tape versus the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And she did end up knocking both of these down, but the first one was the ColourPop one, so we're going to be using that one today. Honestly, I believe the Tarte Shape Tape is the world's best concealer, so I'm a little bummed. She didn't pick that one, but hopefully this one will still get the job done. So for powder, it's Laura Mercier's Translucent Setting Powder versus Wet n Wild's Translucent Setting Powder. She did sniff both of them, but the first one she sniffed was the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, so that's the one we're going to use. And since this one is quite expensive, I don't like to waste a lot of it, so I'm just patting it in pretty sparingly to save on powder. So for lips, we have a House Laboratories Lip Gloss versus a Milani Lipstick. And this one was a little tricky because she does go to the lipstick first, but eventually she knocks over the lip gloss, so we're just going to use both. I actually love both of these lip products, so I would have been happy with either choice, but I'm just going to start off with the lipstick, and I just absolutely love this color. And then we're just going to top it off with a lip gloss, and this actually turned out to be a pretty amazing lip combo. For eyebrows, we have Anastasia Dip Brow versus the Maybelline Eyebrow Tattoo Pomade. And I don't know if you can tell, but at this point, this was one of the last ones we were filming, and she was pretty over everything so I was sure to incentivize her with some more treats. Eventually she did pick the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Eyebrow Pomade. So this is actually a recent purchase for me but I'm actually loving it a lot. It does come out a bit thick and you really have to control it or else you'll go crazy but I kind of don't mind this like thick eyebrow look right now so we're just gonna rock it. For eyeshadow palettes we have the Morphe Jaclyn palette versus Tati Beauty palette and these both are some of my favorites but Pepita ended up choosing the the Tati Beauty palette, so I'm so excited to be able to use that today. I also washed my brushes for this video, so I hope that makes you feel extra special. Starting off, just taking a clean eyeshadow brush to blend out any creasing from my makeup, then just laying down a base of Soothe Matte to give my eyelid some definition. Next, I'm taking the Matte Poet and just messily defining my outer corner. Now, taking Strong, also in matte, and kind of placing it above my eyelid and above my crease. I have no idea what this area is called and I'm a terrible beauty guru but you can just see where I'm putting it so that's what I did with that. Finally dipping into a different texture, Aura in a sequin and I'm just putting that in my inner corner to brighten everything up. Now taking more of the matte poet I'm taking more of a precise brush to build up more of that beautiful shade. Now just taking my concealer on a flat packing brush to cut my crease. This is literally my best makeup hack and I do it almost every time I do my eyeshadow because I think it just looks amazing. Finally taking a metallic textured eyeshadow I'm dipping into Aura with my finger and just packing that down. As you can see, I'm squinting because I really don't want my concealer to transfer to the other portion of my eyelid. So I just want to keep my eyes closed and pack that on. Now taking the matte poet shade again. You can tell the shade's really the star of the show. And I'm just taking that on a flat liner brush all along my bottom lash line, but not too close to my inner corner. Now taking a little break from eyeshadow because that palette is literally so heavy it hurt my hand. Now we're switching things up and going into setting spray with 
the Morphe Continuous Mist versus the Wet n Wild Setting Spray. And this was towards the end also, so she was getting a little sick of me, but she finally chose the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, which is amazing because that's my favorite all-time setting spray. If you haven't tried it, you need to, but you'll never want to use any other setting spray ever again. Since we're not completely done with complexion yet, I'm trying my best just to focus the setting spray on my eyelids for now, and later we can take it all over the face. For bronzers, our high-end option is Fenty's Shady Biz versus Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And these are both equally a few of my favorites, so it's pretty chill with any option. But she's a bougie baby, and she picked the Fenty Bronzer. So I do really enjoy this bronzer, but I forgot how light it is on me, so I did have to build it up quite a bit. And at the end, I feel like it still didn't show up on me, so I may have cheated just a little bit and used my Marc Jacobs Contour just to deepen that up a little bit because I I feel like you couldn't see it very much at all. Which is technically not cheating since I had her pick a bronzer and not a contour, so technically the contour category was open, so it's cool. For highlight, we have the Jaclyn Cosmetics Highlight Palette versus an Elf to Baked Blush. My bougie baby did pick the Jaclyn Cosmetics Highlight Palette, which I'm stoked over because I actually really love this palette. I even bought the special brush that goes with it. So I'm gonna be real with you guys, I've had this palette for quite some time, and when I got it, I tested out all the shades to see which one suited me best, and I have no idea. So I literally just mixed Mesmerized and Gleam and hoped for the best. And with highlight, you usually can't go wrong, so it looks pretty good. And again, taking that Marc Jacobs Contour Powder to contour my nose, I like doing this after I highlight, just to make sure I leave my center bridge nice and bright, and I just contour the sides, and a little on the bottom. For blush, we have a Milani blush versus an e.l.f. blush, and let me tell you, my sweet baby girl was getting so tired, and I can tell she just wanted to snuggle up and cuddle and get away from all the cameras so it was a little bit of a struggle but eventually she did pick the elf blush and just look how adorable she is she's just like i'm sleepy i don't know what's going on but i'm happy to be here then just taking some blush on a blush brush and applying it to the apples of my cheeks but without smiling so my face shape doesn't change and then just taking a big clean powder brush to blend everything together and now since my complexion's done i'm dousing myself in some more setting spray and then again dipping into some eyeshadow i'm taking the matte memory shade and putting it in the outer crease of my eyelid. I really think that this helps deepen up your eye socket. Is that weird to say? I don't know. I, I just think it gives it some flattering dimension. For eyeliner, we have the House Laboratories eyeliner versus the Tarte Kitten liner. And I couldn't get the kitten liner to stand up, but she did knock over the House Laboratories liner, so that's the one we're gonna use. I really do love this eyeliner. It's pretty easy to use, but if you struggle with eyeliner, I do have a full in-depth tutorial that I'll link for you guys to help you guys out. For mascara, we have the Benefit Roller Lash versus the NYX On The Rise Mascara. As you can tell, she's losing interest pretty fast, but eventually she did knock over the NYX On The Rise Mascara, so that's the one we're gonna be using today. This mascara's formula is a bit dry, but eventually you could get some pretty good coverage and some good lift. And now for eyelashes, we have some Elure eyelashes versus some Kiss eyelashes. And this one was a bit of a struggle, but eventually she did end up sniffing the Kiss eyelashes. Applying eyelashes can be a bit tricky, so I'll also link down below a tutorial for applying eyelashes. And so the next day, I wanted to do my makeup exactly like this so I could time it to see how long it took me. And as you could watch the clock tick by, it took me about 30 minutes, which is about average when I do a full face of makeup, but eyelashes always add on a little extra time. But I really love this look, and I could definitely see it becoming a staple of mine. So it's really easiest to hold her like a baby, and she doesn't mind being held like a baby, but she's heavy. Hello! This is Pepita. She is a chow chow. She is the sweetest little bear. I love her very much. She is teething right now. <laughs> look at this little leg. <laughs> it's okay, honey. You don't want to look at the camera? She was born on October 31st, 2019. So she is a Halloween baby. It's my favorite holiday and my favorite little girl. This is one of the first videos I'm filming in 2020, so it's really awesome that I got to be with my baby. Be sure to check out my Patreon. I am so thankful to everyone who has donated. I think I have one or two Patreons right now, so that's really awesome. If you guys would like to learn more about my Patreon, be sure to check out the link below. The most popular tier is probably the YouTube tier, where you'll get shout 
shout it out at the end of my videos, plus get behind the scenes videos of all the videos I make, plus bloopers and all that fun stuff. And I never really had a Patreon before because I didn't want to like beg you guys for money, but since so many people asked if I had one, I thought I should make one. I want to give a huge shout out to our biggest Patreon, Katia. Thank you so much for your support. It absolutely means the world. It means I get to buy her the best quality dog food a little girl can have and she's just gonna have a great life. So really thank you for the support. You know, it just, it just helps. Thank you for helping us. Are you sleepy? Is she sleepy? She's a sleepy girl. It wouldn't feel right to not talk about my other baby. His name was Brutus. He was our sweetest boy for a very long time, but unfortunately he lost his battle with cancer. So it's kind of bittersweet filming this because, you know, I'm so in love with this little baby bear, but we did lose a very important member of our family. He was a sweet boy, he protected my mama, and that's really their best job. You know, they're guard dogs at heart. They're, that's what they were bred for in China, like a million years ago. <laughs> and we're just happy to introduce Pepita to you guys. But I did want to just say a little goodbye to our boy Brutus, because he did mean a lot to us. He was one of strong boys that protected us, so it's very sad to see him go. But you know, it was his time, he was suffering. Look at her, she's, she's just chilling. But yeah, I wanna, Thank him for his life and a job well done. Look at this paw. She's just like, hi, this is my foot. Thank you for being a good girl. Oh, thanks for the kisses. Don't eat my makeup. She played around in the snow a lot today. You look grumpy. Why do you look so grumpy? She's a little camera shy. So tell us about the makeup you picked out for me today. Oh, you're so heavy. I think she's like 17 pounds, which I feel like she's a lot bigger than Bentley was. You don't have anything to say? Look at these feet. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you didn't like that. You didn't like that, huh? What if you had hair like mama? Oh, you're gonna fall over. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. That would mean the world. Okay, bye. If you have any questions about chows, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to reply to every single one of them because I get like eight comments usually. So, <laughs> I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day and I'll see you next time. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm.